welcome to Wildcat Central Halftime Show. I'm your host, Michaela Woodfork. Well, let's take a break from this men's game against the Cougars and take a look at some of the other Wildcat events from this past week. The cheerleading team hosted a two-day Wildcat Invitational. Lord's University, St. Francis, Martin Methodist, and Bethel University all competed in this competition. The Wildcats dominated as they finished in first on the first day with a score of 82.40 and in first in both rounds on the second day at 81.18 and 84.77, setting a new program record. The swimming team competed against Anderson and completely dominated at 157 to 95. The Wildcats had eight first place finishes. The women's basketball team went up against Bethel and won 76 to 44. The men's team also went up against Bethel and won 97 to 84. Kanan Coffey scored his 1,000th career point in the second half. Kyle Mangus had an amazing game at 33 points. And Seth Maxwell secured his sixth double-double of the season at 10 rebounds and 13 points. Man, talk about an exciting game. Well, we're going to take a quick break, but when we come back, Donovan Edwards talks with Kyle Mangus from the men's basketball team. Don't go away. Welcome back to the Wildcat Central Halftime Show. Student producer Donovan Edwards got a chance to sit down with Kyle Mangus before today's game to get to know the student behind the athlete. Donovan? Thanks, Michaela. On On the Court today, I'm Donovan Edwards. I'm here with Kyle Mangus, one of the most prolific scorers here for the Indian Wesleyan men's basketball team, number five on the all-time scoring list. Today, we'll just be playing a quick little mini game that I played in high school, asking him some questions and interview type thing later. And let's get right into the action. Okay. I think uh, this will be pretty easy for Kyle. Ooh. Ooh, that's one point for Kyle. All right. Oh. So Kyle, what, what do you go through like before, before you take a foul shot? Like what's going through your head? Um, not much to be honest, you know. Uh, we practice foul shots a lot, so it's pretty routine and just, just try to clear your mind and think positive things, I would say. Yeah. Oof. Okay, that's three points for me. So coming from Warsaw and coming to college, you're now getting a shot clock. Yeah. How has that affected your game at all? Um, I would say it has, or well, early on it has, it did affect it a lot. Yeah. Because um, you know in high school there's no shot clock, so you can take as much time as you need to get a good shot, but yeah. here it's a lot different. 30 seconds goes by pretty quickly, so. Nazarene tonight. Yeah. Who's uh, kind of like their prolific scorer for them? Yeah, so they have a really good player. Uh, he's a junior also. Yeah. His name's Jevin Knox. Um, like you said, just an elite scorer. Um, can shoot it, drive, averaging around 20 points a game. So we'll have to lock in on him and try to not let him get loose. That's right. a big thing, um, just being versatile, yeah. I think. Not, not just being like just one trick, like trying to add a lot of different elements to my game has, has yeah. really helped over my career. All right, well, Kyle has beat me, so. <laughs> I mean, what was, what was a real big surprise uh, yeah. there? But I think I gave him run for my money there. I, I just had to choose his hit shots or not. Yeah. Um, you did all right. Yeah, thank you. All right, thank you, Kyle, for yep. joining us today. Thanks for having me on. Yeah. This has been uh, On the Court with Donovan Edwards. I was joining with Kyle Mangus. Back to the action. Well, that will do for this edition of Wildcat Central Halftime. Remember, if you ever want more information about Wildcat sports, you can visit our social media or find us on YouTube at WIWU TV. Now let's get back to the second half of the men's game against Mount Vernon. I'm Michaela Woodfork, and you've been watching the Wildcat Central Halftime. <laughs> 